Yeah. How are you, brother? Happy Welcome New back. Year. Happy New Year. Nice to be here. You know, those award festival wins, the farther and farther they get back, the less and less it feels justified to say them. <laughs> winner, winner are you of- kidding me? No, for the rest of your life you get to say that. <laughs> winner, That's how it fucking works. Yeah. If you were a nominee, maybe. Did I tell you? But they're, it's a you know great festival or whatever, but the trophy they gave you, this is how low rent it felt or is. The trophies they give you, they're nice $2 plastic things. We won, Christian, my co-writer and friend, we won best script. And the trophy doesn't say best script. It just says script. So <laughs> it, quite literally, it just looks like you guys wrote a script. Congratulations. Like, well, hey, that's more than we can say about me. <laughs> well, and me. All the trophies I ever got said participant. Yeah. Yeah. So or mine showed up. In the, mine is a yes. f- feels like that. I guess it isn't. Nope. I'm convinced it costs the festival ten dollars a letter. For sure. Oh. They're like, we <laughs> we don't want to spend forty extra dollars for the word best. Yeah. It's a script. Fuck it. Screw that. Gotta okay. get more engraving on that bad boy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm so gonna. I'm gonna, the dollar. Yeah. Well, I'm bro- my heart is broken when it comes to trophies because had this ever happened to y'all. I learned this past Christmas break, I went, uh, and my parents, I didn't go home, but I went, my parents told me, they threw out all of my, all of my youth sports trophies. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, I, but what I'm the all hell? Were really, literally, just yeah. like the whole team gets them, so like, I didn't have a whole lot, Honestly, I didn't really earn anything. No, so- I think there's two types of parents. There's yes. the ones who create the shrine for their kid. The yeah. childhood bedroom stays mm-hmm. exactly the same. Those not those parents. And then there's the ones, like yours and mine, who clear everything out and say they're doing you a favor for when they die, you won't have to do it. Yeah. But when you die, I want to keep my trophies. I want a, <laughs> I want a few of them. I'm not saying I need, you know, all a few Heritage Invitational 2003 champion. That's Maybe that's specific. pretty good. Heritage, you know that tournament, the local soccer tournament in yes, Kansas? Yes, but there's a flip side to this coin, guys. Have you seen the hoarding shows? Would you rather deal with a parent like that? What shows? Where, the, the hoarding, hoarding. shows. Oh. Where you got to dig a tunnel. Just to get to the toilet. No, and I had. It's not just the trophies; it's every grade you ever got, good or bad. Right, but that's how. That is how many trophies I had. There was just a sea of them. Yeah, that's just. Oh, just Just so many swimming through. It's true. They hoard. My mom is more because I learned my dad did it without my mom's. My dad made an executive decision. Nice. Maybe he was jealous because he didn't get as much. He's like, fuck this kid. He's jealous of all of my youth soccer accolades. Yes. Oh, man, you should, for your next Father's Day, get him a best dad trophy and, and see what he does with it. it. Oh, that'll be center for the rest and of And then I'm going to throw it out in front of him. Yeah. Gotta go. Doesn't just it like hurt a little? It. Just like melt it down. Reek it hurt me. Yeah. Right in the ground. I, I'm not, it's not like I'm going to use. You kind of want to remember a few of them. Yeah. You know? I get that. Did they say why? Just they were clean? My out? dad was like, I just didn't want them. What's the point? You got more than me, kid. I don't like it. Yeah. yeah. You're yes. not supposed to, uh, you know, outdo the old man, which technically you are supposed to do. So, I, yeah, I'm tempted to just buy like 20 youth trophies from somewhere, just online, and just send them okay, to Okay, honestly, house. though, this is a funny script for a show or a movie you should write. Just what? How heartbroken I feel? An adult man whose <laughs> father just got rid of all his youth participation trophies. <laughs> who needs to win them all back. So you join <laughs> youth sports programs. This ain't bad. This is pretty good. Bad. Win yo, back. Yo, yo. Of- Do it. Go this ahead. Is good. You can take my idea. I- you have to because there's zero follow through with this one. Yeah, I won't. She'll, she'll give you an idea and then. That- well, that's how movies are. They're so fun to have the idea, but writing them oh, fucking God. sucks, man. Why are preaching? Yeah, yeah it's the, is... the it's writing them is so hard, but yeah. having them is fun. Can I tell you guys my OJ story? Yes. Sure. I have, an, be an OJ story. I have an OJ story. Um, not a direct interaction with him. I haven't been so lucky as to grace the presence of my king, but. Uh, <laughs> No, but um, so I have a small following on TikTok. What that means is random brands will reach out to me on like some brand tie-in thing. One of the ones that reached out to me was Fathead. 
Do you guys oh, know? Sure, of course. Yeah, head, you get the you, big Peyton Manning thing. Yes. They're like life size posters and or just actual giant heads of sports guys. Oh, okay. Big old slap, slap them on, on the wall. wall. It's oh. a giant life size nice. poster. Tom Brady, Michael, jo- whoever. Suitable for 10 year olds or me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Truly. Yeah, yeah. And so they emailed me and said, we'll make you a custom fat head. Uh, and please, we'll make it. We'll send it. Just make a TikTok or an Instagram post. Amazing. About it. I was like, oh, it's so cool. And they said, what do you want us to make it of? And I sent them a photo. Most people probably do themselves. I sent them a photo of O.J. Simpson. Oh fucking gosh. brilliant. Not fucking great. But, not, but him golfing. <laughs> oh, my as, God. As an as a old man, him golfing in his 40s or 50s. Oh. Uh, is it your favorite picture of him? It now is. Yeah. It, na- it now <laughs> it now is. is. Brilliant. What did they, did they even for a second consider it? Uh, well, they're because these reps need to get the she the rep emailed back some version of like, um, so just be aware. You know, we want any content around Fathead to be family friendly and uh, Mr. Simpson. Some would consider a, a controversial figure. What in this modern Mr. era? Simpson. It, it, won the it was it was so corporate, like yeah. you know, uh, corporate speak. And uh, first of all, found not guilty. The jury of peers. That's exactly what I said, <laughs> Bill. That's exactly what I said. Great minds, because I responded and I said like I couldn't agree more. Fortunately, Mr. Simpson was found guilty in front of a jury of his, or found innocent in front of a jury of his own peers. <laughs> So it shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> However, you are right. It is unfortunate that he stole that sports memorabilia. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I won't tackle that. And I don't know why. They emailed back, sounds good. Your fat head's in the mail. Oh, my God. Wow. So they did it? So then they sent me a photo of uh, a life-size six-foot cutout of O.J. Simpson golfing. Funny thing about the golfing image, he was wearing one glove in the golfing image, too. Get I out. can't believe they did this. Yeah. That's unfucking believable And then I never made the video, and I should have, but now I just have two O.J. Simpson cutouts in my apartment. I, uh, when I had roommates, I would leave, I would leave them in my roommates' rooms. Uh, oh. So late at night, they get home and find a... a I, I mean, you don't want to put that on your ceiling? <laughs> like that's a by good the way, what would option. be the reaction of women when you would bring them back and they see the first thing they see oh is a guy who allegedly may have beheaded a chick? No, allegedly. No, uh, no, he didn't. He did. We, well, the civil trial said otherwise. But yes, really, they did it. They oh, did yeah, a civil. The civil, yeah. Oh well, you know what? The but criminal you don't go to jail for that. You just got to, you owe like a couple hundred million or something. But yeah, uh, he was found fa- fiscally responsible. That doesn't mean he was guilty. I didn't say he was. Mm. He's not guilty. We have a perfect justice system, and the justice system exactly. is infallible. But still, what the, would the reaction be for this clearly not guilty individual? I mean, they would. The killer's still out there. Let's find him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would be creeped out. Yes, my roommates would scream, and I would be like, got another one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, they would be creeped oh, out. I cannot believe they went through with it. Oh, my God. Not the weirdest thing I've had a woman comment on when she's come back to my place. Which you share. in of itself, that's what, amazing. What is the weirdest thing? So the place I live, uh, I'm very, I work for the landlord. What that means is I don't pay rent, but I do random odd jobs for him. Oh, I'm setting. Oh, that's incredible. That's great. I have a, I'm very lucky. So I'm setting that up because the people who lived where I live before I lived there, the people he had working for him was a cult of Christian monks. And um, I was grandfathered into this living situation by my friend who's a friend of them. They moved to go to Africa for some mission trip. So I say I'd be like, my house, when I the place I live, was just covered in Jesus shit. Oh, my gosh. And when you're a guy moving into a place, you just kind of move in. Sure, yeah. You don't really feng shui it. You don't go, I need to. So I just moved in. Not I don't I don't even see what was on the walls because I'm just living as a guy. Yeah. It's like a mural of Jesus Christ, and you're it like, really was. Dude looks cool. Yeah, I didn't even know. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. One, uh, you know, one night I brought a lady back home. We're having tea at the kitchen table, and she just goes, "Oh my God, you really love Jesus." <laughs> 
<laughs> and she points to the bookshelf, which has about 55 Bibles in it. Oh my God. And then the way I try I'm to. A collector. I, I know. I don't. I tried. The way I try to make it all better is to go, no, don't worry. That was just the cult of monks that lived here before me. <laughs> You're totally safe. Um, uh, wow. Anyway. Well, I got to tell you, she's never heard that one before. No, no but I wonder. Yeah. She's not going to forget you. I wonder no. if at first she was like, wow, I feel really safe here. <laughs> you know, because what if she was just like a hardcore Christian and she right. was like, thank God. Right. Or just really you know? worried she's about to get recruited. Yeah. Ooh, or yeah. That. I mean, a hardcore Christian coming back with me on a first date. Yes. Not yeah. the hardest of core. Yeah, Pretty but. soft core. You're drinking tea. I mean, there's mixed messages. We were drinking tea. We were drinking tea. Yeah. I, I had to put that yeah. in the story. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Was it all of Jesus' greatest hits? Like, did you have like a little baby Jesus? And then, like, you know. There were posters that said, like, God loves me. I love God. <laughs> well, it's wow. a it's a two way relationship. It is. And yeah. I have to tell you. I am impressed with the laziness because as much of a, eh, I'm here, I've moved in, that's that, I would have taken down the God posters. I would have put that much effort in. And you, sir, it was just your fathead OJ and baby Jesus. <laughs> he replaced Jesus. He OJ is my Jesus. Although, that does feel weird. If you are removing the posters, doesn't it feel a little wrong to just, like, throw them away? I couldn't throw the Bibles out. I uh, yeah, do no, it. I, yeah. I went to Christian... I went to uh, Catholic school. I'm like a Christian, not Christian. I'm like ethnically Christian, sure, yeah. <laughs> not religiously Christian. Yeah. You know what I mean? How some people are Jewish. Oh, yeah. I don't know, is Jew a faith? Is it a race? It's either or. Both. It's, yeah, I'm like Christian in race. <laughs> 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 and, and not in religion. But, so, but I still, even with that, I was like, I can't. Throw Bibles. Did you out. donate them to a church or like the Salvation Army? Or, no, you know? my maybe the monks left them though too. I know. You would think maybe they had a lapse of faith or I don't know. Christ I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, they well like I mean, a lot of them. yeah, you can only check a bag that's fifty pounds. Those Bibles are uh, pretty I, heavy. I put them in the. Uh, you know how some there's like neighborhood library cabinets. Oh. Yeah, I put fifty Bibles. Oh my God. Like, they Kept they one. Had to keep one. Shout out Jesus Christ. <laughs> Actually, he, another he doesn't sponsor. Another great movie script for you. Uh, um, Joe. You write your name and telephone number in like all fifty Bibles, and it's like if you receive this, contact me. And then you see how far they went. Uh -huh. It's it's like the Brotherhood of the Traveling Bibles. Yes. So now I have to be in contact with these Bible lovers. Yeah, maybe. maybe, <laughs> no, maybe no. Well, it's it's just a movie. Follow through. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're still gonna do it.